acids into our system. The environment gets even more polluted. A spiral of negative events occurs to make things even worse. Now acidity increases, and high acid in our system is a big problem. Why? The reason is high acidity causes all kinds of disease. And above all, the creation of acid in our system breaks down our biochemistry. The blood is a living liquid organ that is our life. Mm -hmm. And our health is in direct relationship to the health of the blood. It's because all of our organs and tissues and glands are made from our blood. And that blood, the focal primary site of that blood production, is made in the crypts of the small intestine, what I affectionately call the root system of our body. When that part of our body is healthy and strong, we build healthy blood. And in turn, from there, we build healthy body cells that build up our organs and tissues and glands. Mm -hmm. Our body needs a healthy balance of acids and alkaline to keep the electromagnetism of our cells. Now maybe you've heard that the pH of your blood, which is the most important fluid in your body, the pH of it doesn't change much. And that's actually true. But some people will go further and say, well then the pH of your body doesn't change. And that's not true. The pH of your blood must be regulated between about 7.3 and 7.4. If it moved out of that range, you would not be alive. Well, the only way then your body can deal with XX acid is to store it, to move it away from the bloodstream. Like any other waste, acids must be neutralized and then disposed of through your bloodstream in order to be carried out eventually through your colon or your kidneys. That's how you eliminate waste. Well, if you have so much acid that you can't buffer it and you can't neutralize it and dispose of it properly, um, you can't just dump these acids into the blood, which must be narrowly controlled. So your body has a mechanism to deal with that. It's called storing it. It'll store it in fluids. It'll store it in tissues and fatty tissues. It'll store it wherever it can in order to keep the blood pH where it optimally needs to be.